everybody, welcome back to Court Farms. How you good people doing? Oh, all is well. Okay, so last time we did a little cleaning up around the farm here. Um, speaking of which, I will need to give this place a name. It doesn't, it just hasn't hit me yet. The inspiration for a name. Um, but I guess you're going to see our project for today sitting right in front of us. We got a lot of grass and we want to get it mowed and bailed. Um, I think we're going to make grass silage, not the whole crop silage, which you can do with maize plus, uh, but we're going to just use grass silage because I think that gets a better price. In fact, let me check, see what we got for blah, 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 blah. So for regular silage, no whole crop that is, so grass silage will get you, let's say about four, 415 bucks average with the highest being 510. And if we go back to, should call it whole crop. Let's see what we got here. This is the problem with when you have a lot of stuff. You just got to find everything. Um, let's see. Whole crop, whole crop, whole crop. Got grass, grass, grass. Nope, nope. Corn cob mix, CCM there, um, which I might try to make that. Whole crop silage. There we are. Hmm. That is a comparable price. Oh, I'm looking at whole crop. That's what I was looking at earlier. But whole crop silage. And yeah, they, they're about the same. So that was my misunderstanding. I looked at the wrong thing earlier, but either way, we're going to make some grass silage. Okay. Now that will entail getting a few things. We already got a tractor. Uh, I just got a new pack that downloaded. So I think I'm going to use some of that new stuff from that. In fact, let's go ahead and look for it now. Let me reset the, uh, well, the uh, store point. We'll jump in here and get some some new toys. We'll rent some stuff. Uh, let's go into grass work. Let's see. What do we got? Do, 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 mowers. I think it's in mowers. Anyway, it should be. I remember seeing it. Mowers. Da, 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 da. It might be in the other category anyway. Let's see, mowers, there we are. Ah, there it is. The Braille Mayor, excuse me if I got that wrong. Braille Mayor, 29 EFI. I think EFI would stand for electronic fuel injection, but don't quote me on that for this. This thing looks gnarly. Look at those spiky big old drum wheels. I like it a lot. And they also have the option of a wind roller. Very nice. Um, I'm going to rent both of them. So we need some way. We need a low trailer capable of getting these things uh, back to the farm here. So let's go ahead and lease that. 1800 bucks. Oops. Let's go back in here. Get the mower. We'll lease that for 1700 bucks. So under $4,000. Let's see how much our, uh, well, It'll take some time for the the uh, the grass to ferment and uh, become silage, but let's just say we're in this for a little under four thousand dollars rental wise. So I think we'll make plenty more than that. It's a pretty big field. Now we need something a low trailer, and I think I have an idea. And I think it'll fit. Um, let's go into trailers. Low is it under low loaders? It might be under low loaders. Let's see. I think this is the one. It's modified, but it is a bit longer. Yes, it is. So that is the one I'm looking for. So there's always like a base game one of these, but this one, I believe the deck is a bit longer. Um, anything particular with the wheels? I like those. Color wise, let's. Axle colors? Oh, axis colors. Let's see what that is. 
yeah, we'll stick with the gray for that. The hydraulic color. Um, yeah, we'll keep that to kind of tie in with the rest of the of the stuff we have. I kind of like the little light blue there. It kind of ties with the new equipment, but we'll go with that. I don't want no speed time because uh, <laughs> at some point, plus 60, I'm assuming that's kilometers per hour, but we're probably going to be going faster than that. And I typically don't mess with the license plate. So let's buy that right out. Oh, that's only 16 and a three quarter. 16,750 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, I got to do something with this. Now, I have been editing the map file. Uh, speaking of which, I'll give you guys uh, a clue of what we're going to do later. Well, I talked a little bit about it in our, our last episode, but I don't tend to edit everything because I want to use some <clears throat> placeables or objects as a kind of a, a way to hide some of this stuff. It forces me to be a little creative sometimes, and I like that. Anyway, let's get in our good old Land Bower McCormick here. Um, we're going to leave this trailer. I don't think we need the front loader. So I'm going to pull it and put it, put it over here, I guess. Yep. This place does not have lights and I think I might need to add lights in here at some point, which I have a mod for that. Cool. Alrighty then. Well, I'm just going to go check on over to the store, pick up our equipment and bring it back. But I'll uh, cut the camera back on when we get over there and start picking up the equipment. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, let's see, pulling on in to, uh, okay, the dealership here. Hello, Mr. Forklift. Excuse me, excuse me, uh, come right around there. Okay, let us see what we have here. Very nice stuff. Uh, we will need a baler, but I don't think we got enough space to put all that on here at the moment. So that stuff will have to be gotten later. Now, uh, I just picked up our trailer and the cool thing about this trailer is because how it is uh, situated, there's some uh, actuators on the back here and tractors have, you know, these linkages that drop anyway. In short, you get a almost flat, well, it's flat, but you know, almost near the ground loading surface, which is outstanding. Just really cool. Would you look at these things? These things look phenomenal. And I think they'll both fit on our trailer there. Oh yeah, look at this. This is cool, man. Um see what we got. We can lift the tool. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Did I see something else there? Ooh, we have a different driving mode. Oh, that's cool. And the speed, I think, is different. It is. So on that, like when you're standing on it, you can go seven miles an hour. But if you're walking, four miles an hour. Makes sense. Um, let's try to load it here on... Uh, let's put it on this side. Oh, buddy. I am touching the... Yeah, I'm touching the bottom of that. Let's try backing it on here. That might be a little better. Uh, perhaps not. Oh, let's drop it and see if that does. Oh, that will do it. And lift it. Okay, you have to drop it and lift it and drop it and lift it. You can get it on there. <laughs> Whew, that was close, but we got it on there. It should be able to climb, you know, really. Look at those big old knobby tires. It should be able to climb that, right? Not a problem. And to keep it a bit, okay, I'm glitching out there, a bit more compact. I'm gonna leave it like that for transportation purposes. And we'll get this other one and we'll get it on the other side. Look at that. So what do we have here? So we got the lift tool. 
similar to the other one very nice and we have the driving mode change and we can also change the work uh, work side work mode how do I do that left ah cool let's cut it on just to see I want to see if that changes direction it does change oh that's cool okay I'm getting really excited about these these are cool very cool things all right uh let's lift that up and we'll load it on our trailer over here and get the stuff back to the old shop let me uh see if i can load it like this i doubt it <laughs> look at that we're boogieing okay uh, all right let's see oh uh, we can look at that um okay i need to go down a little bit more okay we're getting very close very close very close yeah. uh oh I am getting all kind of stuck over here I'm trying to get as much because that oh man that is like like a glove okay that is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be oh my tractor was already on. It's so quiet, I never know it's on. <laughs> okay, we'll go back out this front way here. Oh, not hit their uh, their buildings. Yeah, I don't see a lot of people take this way uh, leaving the shop because you could take you know, that little way right there going up that way. Uh, but I tend to take this way because it allows for more of a straight shot uh, another beautiful day on a court farm here all right I'm get back to our farm which is the nameless farm at the moment and we'll get there I need to name this tractor too hmm maybe something went quiet I don't know we'll think about it anyway see you guys over at the sh uh, whoo, not the shop but the farm Yep. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to park right outside of our field right here. Uh, can I get off? Well, let me park more in the middle of the, in our entrance here. So I can get both of these vehicles off. Okay, we'll drop that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And now we can actually cut off our electric quiet whisper I think we're gonna call this whisper I was thinking about it on the way over here yeah that is gonna be the name for well did I buy that thought I only rented that oh buddy maybe I bought it rented no rented okay no they're rented both of them one just didn't show up. It's strange. Let me go in here, see what we got. Um, unless the dealership just gave me a deal. I doubt it. Let's see, rented things. Nope, they're both showing up. At least there. Interesting, very interesting. Because they would typically show up here, let's see. Ah, so one shows up as a tool. And one shows up is a vehicle. Interesting. Not sure which is which. But I'm assuming the tool would be the wind rower, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Anywho, let's go in here. Can I rename these? Oh, I can rename those. Um, 
we'll see. Uh, let's rename this. We'll say this is the vehicle. Just because I want to see what, what that is. And this one, we're going to call Whisper. Hey, we're naming our first tractor. How about that? So we're going to hit rename Whis Wispy. Hmm. We'll call it Whisper. Thought about doing like Wispy or something. Who knows? Cool. So what that does is when you hop in here, you see at the name down there? That's Whisper. The Whisper of the Tractor. So yeah, that, that's a good name. So this is the vehicle. Okay. And this one is the tool. Okay. Gotcha. Oop, oop. And that is a long vehicle, so I might need more space on that side to get it off. So we'll leave this here for now. Uh, yeah, I'm able to get that off. I really like this vehicle. I, don't know, I might, uh, might actually buy this thing because I know we'll we'll be doing some work with it. And now one thing I did notice is that you can't change the type of grass. Like you can't put uh, conditioning on or off via maze plus but that's no worry we're still, we're still not grass silage anyway so we don't need it on but no, no i'm not kind of curious as to why why that is but i'll do some testing otherwise all right let's do we'll do a headland we'll do it from this ver uh view rather nice Yeah. Look at that deer. Whoa, I am getting stuck on something. Oh, it's uh doesn't do very well over bumpy terrain, I guess. I don't think I can lift it. Oh, well, that's better. Maybe it's something I was getting caught on on the outside of the field over there. Yeah, smooth sailing now. So that that side was getting pulled over. A little bit. Yeah, I think this is perfect for this size of field because uh, it's not a really big field. And that side of the sickle bar sticks out so you can kind of get under trees a little better. Kind of like what I'm doing there. And I think this works with uh, whatever that mower thing is. Real mower? Yeah, that one. I think it works with that, but I'm not 100% sure. Looks like it's cutting some tree. We'll try to cut these bushes down over here in this corner. See if that uh if that works. Yep, looks like it's taken out. Yep, it definitely is taking out a lot of that stuff. Cool. I really like this. This is really cool. Oh, it has lights too. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Oh man, that is so cool. Let's uh Let's do a 360 around this tree here. See if this will see how tight we can get it. Nice. Oh, some of those are not things you can cut like those. That's no biggie. That is okay. We'll cut out just a little bit more and then we'll continue on the way here. Nice. Very nice like it a lot okay cut cruise control back on yeah let's see we'll kind of cut around this a little bit here okay pretty cool man pretty cool indeed I like this okay um I think I'm gonna go what would that be this way for cutting most of this stuff yeah I just do up and down the field here that's a lot of wildlife here <laughs> see how well this turns turns very well very tight radius like that it's doing a wonderful job 
Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut on my uh, steel camera. Well, it'll maintain the same kind of uh, rotation. And we'll just go ahead and do like a time lapse over this area here. And I think that was this button. Yep, there we go. All right, wonderful people. Let me get this done and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, this is my pretty short work of it. Uh, just coming in here. I really like that it's very maneuverable. Like, it is very maneuverable. Like, you can almost turn it right, you know, right in on itself. I mean, you have these two opposing wheels. So, it makes sense, you know. Yeah, but I like it. This is fantastic. Um, let me get right up against this building here. Let's see if I can cut this grass. Now that's one thing I have noticed, it won't do very well on extremely uneven terrain. But most of the time, I mean, I, I'm assuming this thing was made for like, you know, the side of hilly areas, so, you know, the size of hills pretty much. That's what all those big spikes in the drum wheels are for. But yeah, it's just that sickle bar is so long and it is, uh, it doesn't flex. But, I mean, 90% of the this I have, I would say 95%, not one issue. Just cruising along. And let me not forget the fact that you can do this. Yeah, just walk behind it. That is cool. Okay, we'll see if we can get right up against this building here for this little bit of grass. Cut all that stuff. Okay, and the last little bit. Nice. So nice. Okay, let's cut it off. Let's, let's just jump on it and uh, ride. Because it's faster just to ride. Does it only have one wheel? It does only have the one wheel on the other side. That's interesting. I would have thought it would have had two of these uh, these wheels right here. That's pretty cool. The lights helped out more than I thought. You know, in that really shaded area. Very, very nice. Uh, only other thing, it does it probably doesn't fit in a single gate. I was lucky to have this wide gate, so. Yeah, keep that in mind. Hmm. Let me cut this little bit of area right here. Why not? 
I don't think it's going to give us any grass, but I like to have it, you know, looking neat and tidy, if possible. We'll cut all that, and we'll cut all this. So it kind of works as a mower, too. Maybe we will buy this as our mower. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's pull it over here by one of the domiciles. Cool. Well, that was that. That is the Brow Mare 29 EFI. Cool, cool, cool. Where's the fuel? Oh, well, it's probably the fuel tank over there. I'm getting to, uh, to something. All right, let's go ahead and uh, wind roll it with this wonderful wind roar that they also have. Cool. All right, and I think it's just as simple as, yep, cutting it on. And it is doing a wonderful job. So we'll do the headland. Then we'll uh, go up and down just to do that, get all that done. Yeah, this has tight sauce on it. I really would like to take these on some hilly, grassy areas, or grassy, hilly areas, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Same thing, right? <clears throat> yeah, I test that on, I don't know, some map. I think I got a few in mind, but I don't know. Let's just try it out and see. Because, I mean, I think that's what these were aimed at. Okay, get up close to the building here without hitting the building. Cut that light on so we can see. That's awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, and I think I'm just going to get some shots of this and not do another montage thing. So you just see me doing some work. In, in random areas with it and uh, hopefully get some pretty cool shots of it uh, looking awesome all right cool and I think yep that's how you switch it let's see I like the animation of the grass getting on there that's pretty cool yeah that's cool Okay, and oops, not that one. Swap that back over here. And uh Yeah, let's do go back down here.
Okay, just finishing up here. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make one really big swath for this kind of uh, triangular piece that got left over. Then we'll need to go get a, uh, a biller, a bill wrapper more specifically. Yeah, I don't have anything in mind in particular. I'm gonna leave that kind of swath by itself over there. But we'll get everything in the middle here. This little last little triangular piece that is. But yeah, it looks good. I really like these machines. They are pretty spiffy, pretty spiffy indeed. I'm just gonna see how it handles bigger swaths by trying to put all this stuff in, in one big swath towards the end. I assume it'll do well, but just wanna see. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with smaller bills because I'm likely gonna rent the equipment I feel like, well, smaller bills might maybe yield a bit more. Well, we'll get more smaller bills, utilize more of what we have on the field. So once we return the equipment, it doesn't get uh, you know, lost, if you will, or donated, I guess, <laughs> is a way to say that. Yeah, it's like it's doing pretty good. And we're going wide open throttle. Okay, get stuck around the corner just a little bit, but not bad at all. Okay, a little bumpy, a little bumpy, <laughs> a little bumpy. Okay. I'm gonna cut this off as far as that so I don't pick up that um, that swath on that side. And we'll hit this last little bit here. Yeah, let's get off the machine. And we'll. Uh, Let's go back and forth and get all this little bit down here. So it doesn't work in reverse, meaning if I drive backwards over this stuff, it doesn't pick it up like, like that, for example. But that's not a big deal, really. It'd be cool. And theoretically, it probably would do that. But for game purposes, one way only. Jack, that's no, no problem. That is a pretty big swath right there. So yeah, our, our, uh, whatever bell loader we get, have a fun time picking that little bit up. Cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get a beller, bell wrapper, and we'll use our, uh, we'll use Whisper over there <laughs> to go pick it up, okay? So yeah, um, I'll, I'll just do a jump cut to me picking it up at the store. I think we're just going to get something, nothing in particular new or anything, just something that's probably been in the game. And we'll park this over here with its comrade. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oop, I'll go, uh, Get this equipment really quick. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go with this uh, Massey Ferguson Baylor wrapper. Uh, one one of these things I'm doing with this series is to try new things. I know I've used it before, but I haven't used it a lot. So I'm going to 
use it. Oh, that has a an in turner. I just want to see how that works. Uh, we we'll cut off net wrap so we don't have to buy that. Random foil color. Sure, let's cut that on. I mean, they're all going to be our bells. I'm kind of curious to see which uh, colors pop out there. So we can do 125 to 150 cent uh, centimeter bales wrapped. So that's just regular. Any other options? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and lease that for $4,411. Pretty big. I didn't see the horsepower requirement. Let's see. I think I can look at it and see here. 140 and we are at 289 electric ponies for whisper here okay um yep done deal nice equipment we'll get over back to the farm and get to wrapping bills i'll see you guys when we get over there oops <laughs> Okay, back at the farm. Let's kind of back out in the road here so we have a better approach angle to enter the field. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go ahead and unfold our bell wrapper. Um, probably gonna work from that side of the field this way. So the, the other end, the opposite end, but I'm gonna go around this headland a little bit here. Let's see, let's change a couple things. We'll go, we'll go 150. I know there's a 180, but this doesn't um, do that. Let's do automatic drop. And, oh, this one has that little turntable thing, which is kind of cool. And we'll drop our bailer pickup head down. And we'll get to going. Uh, while we're doing this little bit of the headland, I will say that, well, I talk about plans for this particular um, Let's Play. In the next few episodes, you guys are going to see us build a whole, a whole road. Yeah, at least start anyway. <laughs> we have a lot to do to build a road, but um, yeah, I, I think that's, I was just going to do a simple Let's Play. But I, I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't do like something crazy. <laughs> I've already started doing some modifications to the map. And I know I can still keep going, but I just wanted to see that uh, that animation drop there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to build a road. Um, I don't want to give too much away. I don't want to spoil too much of that. The fun that we're going to have with that. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that stuff. It's I think it's going to be phenomenal i think you guys are really gonna like all the cool things that we get into and it's actually pretty practical what i'm proposing with that um it's a practical reasoning <laughs> to build a whole new road for a map right yeah but i think we'll do a little bit of role play show off some really cool mods and just have fun with it yeah keep it keep it loose you know let's have fun yeah all right let me uh Time lapse this and we'll get this all picked up and bailed. All right, guys, I'll see you when this is done.
are coming to an end of this field as far as bailing. Been a little sporadic because this is a tight field, especially for such a big uh, kit setup here. But, you know, we made it work. Alright, get these last two swaths here. Getting... Let's see. And let that dump. And off we go, Steel. Alright, I'll try to grab some of these little pieces here and there. Or we have to return this equipment. I think we might be able to get another full bill. No, don't know. We'll see. Once we get that last swath over there. If not, at least we'll have a clean field. Not too concerned with uh, getting every little every little drop. Should have kind of came around the outside of that one. Oh well. Let's see what we got. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. It's no worries. But I really like this wrapper. It's a has a unique in-game way of wrapping things. Kind of has a turntable. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me just get these last little pieces here. I mean, it's not going to amount to much. But we'll clean it up a little bit. All right, let's cut that bailer off. Let's wrap it on up. Okay. Um, so how many bells do you think we got? Well, you can probably count them, but I'll show you here. We got eight bells of the 150 centimeter size. It's not bad. As these are fermenting, probably take a, I don't know, a month and a half in day, in game that is. So next next month, but I'll do. It's still really early, so I still got some things to do this month. Uh, like I talked about, we want to do some things with that road, so we'll get all that. Cool. Think that is gonna uh, that's gonna be a, an episode for today. All right, guys. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, rest of your week, and. Let the ge the goodness keep on rolling. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you later.